Hey folks, Joe and Richard again, back at m &R Trailers, and uh, lo and behold, sure enough, we got another custom uh, barbecue concession rig ready to go. Anyhow, uh, we'll just kind of walk through this one, uh, like we do all of them. This one's got a, uh, a different package on it. Um, some of the stuff's redundant, you may have seen it on some of our other videos. Uh, a couple things on this one are uh, some new ideas. Uh, again, this is a customer uh, down in Central Florida. Um, he's going to use it primarily for catering. He's, uh, you know, got certain things he needs. He let us know what exactly it was that he needed, and we're going to uh, went ahead and put it together with uh, with everything that he required. And this is what we ended up with. So, um, Richard, let's just uh, take a quick walk around this one, starting from the front, and we'll just work our way all the way around this and uh, just show you guys this exactly what we've got on this. Um, starting up front with our. Uh, our tongue piece on here again we got a five foot wide trailer uh, to accommodate our roof uh, five foot wide trailer works real well with us uh, also gives us a lot of uh, open storage up front here uh, we got two 40 pound gas bottles on this one uh, because this uh, particular unit has got a lot of gas attributes for it uh, so he's gonna have the need for some extra gas so we got him some oversized tanks for it uh, moving back on here we got our standard cooler box over on the other side that'll house the 120 quart igloo cooler with enough room to get your hands in to pull that out um, next to that we got a nice big wood basket for him um, we have to carry plenty of wood or whatever other odds and ends he might want to haul around in his baskets here um, moving back kind of a cool setup everything's real tight in here obviously uh, space is uh, <clears throat> always an issue so um, we did get a full size 32 inch by 22 inch sink in here with a sprayer. This one has actually uh, got a water pump and a water heater in it. He needed hot water for his requirements. Um, so we've actually got uh, a battery, um, fresh water and waste water um, all underneath this countertop here. Um, we got the storage compartment, everything's accessible underneath. We got our water tank under here. Um, just like in our food trucks, we use all PEX piping and all of our plumbing, so everything's PEX down here. Um, we've got our water pump mounted up over here. We've got a battery compartment, um, a little extra storage here and there. Um, we've got a door here to cover it all up, so it is a usable space for some smaller items that he can sneak in there. Uh, moving back uh, on this unit, our typical Model 72 smoker. Um, we did uh, part of his shelf, his work shelf here, we did the starboard for him. Uh, the other part we've done here in our expanded metal, which is pretty typical. This makes uh, for a real nice removable cutting board. You do some cutting on here, pop it right out, rinse it off with the hose. Um, just a, a real nice thing to have. Um, on this 72 smoker, we'll pop her open real quick. Our typical reverse flow smoker, it's got a reverse flow plate in the bottom of it. Um, this is what it would look like if you guys were ever wondering if you wanted to go with three shelves. Um, this is uh, typically, we, they come with two shelves. We added an extra one in here, and this is the configuration that you'll have when you've got three shelves. Um, pull out shelves, typical. Stops on them, typical. Um, the thing that's a little bit out of the ordinary on this rig, I don't know if you can see it, Richard, but the bottom here over top of our reverse flow plate and underneath of our grate here we've got two five foot long tube burners in here um, the tube burners put off a beautiful blue flame what this does for you is, so nice for this, is we can use this as a smoker um, and people have asked us over and over again you know can i use this for a charcoal grill the answer to that is yes it's real easy you can either put coals on top of the reverse flow plate or you can put coals in a turkey tin on top of a re uh, reverse flow plate if you don't want to have that dust mess to clean up inside of here. Um, but what we did here is with the propane burners, he's got the capability to do steaks, burgers, chicken, um, you know, cook for around the house. Um, on his big unit here, he doesn't have a, a need for having a smoker and then having a grill. He can just light the flame here, go to cooking. Um, he can also use this as an assist as he's smoking uh, if you wanted to add some extra heat. Um, so anyhow, a lot of, uh, just opens a lot of doors. Um, a great option if you guys uh, would like us to, you know, give you some pricing on this and let you know what's involved, just uh, give us a call and we'll explain it all to you.
Moving around. We got our typical warmer box set up on this one. Uh, if you guys have ever watched any of our videos before, you've seen this before. Um, we've got our warmer box and fire box combination here. In the warmer box, we've got three shelves. Uh, we also have a slide gate, which is, uh, we do this in all of our smokers and grills. What this allows you to do is to be able to cook uh, in this warmer box if you choose to. Um, you'll just cook at a slightly less temperature in this cylinder as you would in the main cylinder. Um, if you do want to cook in here, you open the slide gate, um, you'll adjust the heat on your main cylinder and open your rear cylinder to pull some of the smoke and the heat out into this warmer box so now we can have a secondary smoker going here. Um, on the other hand, we shut our slide gate back up, we close our damper back up, and now we've just got a warmer. Um, depending on what kind of a fire you got going down here, she's going to burn right around 150 degrees. Um, standard warmer box, nice big airflow dampers there. You guys know that thing works off of airflow. Um, so you've got a lot of adjustability uh, between the amount of air that we let into the firebox and the amount of air that we let out of the main cooking chamber. Um, just open it up, the more open it is, the more air you're drawing through, the hotter you're going to bring the temperature in the main cylinder. This has got our, uh, our new fire starter, this is our log grate I just pulled out of there. Our new fire starter, it's uh, really simple but it's really nice because uh, a lot of the other fire starters that you'll see around come through the bottom. They end up getting clogged up, they're a mess to clean. So we go off at this angle and uh, really once you get the fire started, get completed with your cook, um, there's really nothing for anything to fall into on this. You're just going to scrape everything out and be ready to ride. Take care of the warmer box. Coming around to the other side, our uh, customer requested to have uh, three burners. Uh, standard is two burners, but of course, whatever you guys need. If you need an extra burner for whatever reason, let us know what you need, we'll accommodate you. Um, nice setup where he's got a place to take, uh, to take stuff off of the burners. Um, nice little prep area in front of this. Uh, just kind of a, a nice layout as far as the cutting board goes. Um, he does have temperature controls on all three of these burners. He can set with, uh, whatever temperature you'd like on each burner. They don't all work in unison. Uh, also, I forgot to show you on the fire starter. Again, we've got a another burner control back here um, for, our, for our fire starter or the so you can burn as big or as small a flame in that firebox as you want. Moving forward is uh, our charcoal grill, all quarter inch plate. Uh, big access door that we like to put in these. It allows you to put some extra coals in here um, or add some wood logs without having to take all the grill grates out of the thing, add charcoal, close it back up. You can very easily just dump some extra charcoal, put some wood down that access hole. Also doubles as the vent to let air flow through the, uh, through the charcoal grill. stop up here for the lid. Um, charcoal grill here. Um, as you can see in the bottom here there's actually a, a charcoal basket which you can pull the whole thing out and dump that after you've got your spent coals and your and your spent wood. Um, it's kind of nice this kind of keeps everything together rather than just have uh, charcoal all over the floor of the grill. Um, we've got our cooking grate two different positions to put that in. Um, all quarter inch plate. Quarter inch plate means it's going to hold the heat, hold the heat, you guys know that's going to lead to your best barbecue. So, nice portable grill on here. Um, moving up forward, this is kind of a cool thing for an outside, uh, for an outside rig for sure. Um, we were able to just take a, a regular commercial countertop fryer, two basket, uh, I think it's a 30 pound fryer actually, and uh, set that up on this rig. That was one of the reasons that we had the bigger propane bottles for them. Uh, but this uh, obviously opens up some big doors for this fellow for his catering business. Uh, he's got barbecue, the ability to fry all outside. So uh, real cute little asset here. And um, you know, something that if you need, of course, we can do for you. Um, 
step it back a little bit. We've got our upgraded wheels on here. Um, purely aesthetics. It's a nice look. Most people, when they get into doing one of these fancier rigs, uh, you know, it's worth a few extra bucks to put a nice looking wheel on it. Uh, the other thing that we did on this one, we've got a stereo bar that we built for them. It's got a weatherproof marine stereo in there. JVC out front, a uh, couple speakers, really puts out some nice sound. We got two more uh, outdoor speakers mounted on the back here. So uh, the fellow's actually Jamaican, so uh, I'm sure you'll have some good reggae going on his barbecues. Uh, the last thing, the last uh, addition that you probably caught right off the bat makes this thing just a really nice rig is, uh, is the roof. Um, we've got the the primary center roof which stays stationary and we've got the two fold up leaves on either side um, that sit on these support bars when they're in the open position. Um, we got the back one I don't have opened yet but we got it held up with one of these which is really plenty to hold it but we do got a set of them. We also pin these through the support bracket so if the wind blows there's no chance that this thing is going to blow up on you. Uh, at any rate it gives you a bigger footprint. You look really professional when you got one of these roofs over you. <coughs> Not to mention, you can get out of the sun. You don't have the sun beating on you. It actually gives you uh, a little bit of uh, shelter from the rain if you get some rain going on. Uh, just all in all, another custom rig. Uh, completely different than some of the other ones that she saw in a lot of respects. Um, by the same token, a lot of it's still the same. So, anyhow, just another. Uh, quality cooker from MR Trailers. Um, let us know what it is that you need, what you need to accommodate, um, the style of cooking that you're doing, and we can design something for you. Build it right to order. So until next time, see you then.